Hey guys, it's Ryan F. here today with another review, this time of the Marvel Universe, don't believe it's, uh, well, Marvel Universe Cyclops figure. This is the Jim Lee Cyclops, based off from the 90s when, oh, I don't know, the 90s, but this was the um, Jim Lee Cyclops, and um, this is what he, oh uh, yeah, Jim Lee, sorry. And um, this is basically what they call the first appearance um, Cyclops. I know this guy's been out for a while now, but... Um, one minute, so, he's been out for a while now, but decided to review him, because he's that, because, um, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, not just by, um, design, but also articulation. As you guys can see, the paint detail is very nice. Um, the face is pretty nice to do. I, I don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera, but he's even got hair highlights, which looks pretty cool. He's got even shading in the chest. It's not just one color blue. And... I don't know for sure. One sec. No, there's no shading in the yellow, sadly enough. But um, the head sculpt's very, very cool looking. Um, it, it can go pretty high up, so it's nice. Um, and they, it's basically very. It's like the body is basically a basic Marvel Universe figure, but like more articulation than usual. I believe this is the new sculpt that they use now. So, but I haven't picked up Marvel. I picked up a few, but I haven't picked many Marvel Universe in a while. But of course, I'll be trying to pick up more. But articulation, the head can go 360 degrees, can go up and down. Um, he, his arms are in a ball joint and can go up, that back and forward, and down. And also, it's on a um, single joint um, at the elbow, um, and a wrist swivel. Um, I don't know what this is going to be called, so I'm just going to call it, I think it's called a cast level. It's got a cast level, can go all the way around. Bends by the knee, double jointed knees. Um, oh yeah, wrists and waist and um, bicep articulation, but it's a little hindered from this thing here. But like, as I said, bicep swivel, no, not bicep swivel, um, knee swivel, um, leg swivel, double jointed knees. Um, the, the foreleg can move a little bit, but like, for some reason on mine, it's a little hard to see. This one can move very well. But my friend, I'm going to break it. Oh, there it is. Now it's fixed. Um, and also, going to go up. And it's even got um, ankle pivot. But not, it's kind of like a weird looking. And it's a messed up ankle pivot. It can go a whole bunch around. It's crazy. But it's pretty cool. The articulation is very nice. As you guys can see, the hand looks like as if he's going to push the button on his glasses. Sharon is prime side stuff, fisting pose. You can see. But, very cool looking figure. Um, the figure all together is designed very well. Wish I had that, um, I wish I had the Jean Grey 90s costume. But sadly I do not. But, very cool looking figure. I love the shading in the blue. I love the, um, head sculpt, but the only problem about my head sculpt, it, um, the paint, and also the paint detail, the only problem is, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but, like, the blue right here, they also painted a little up there, so it's kind of, like, smudging, sadly enough, but, still, this figure is a very cool looking figure, if you're an X-Men fan, you should really pick this guy up, especially with the new, um, Ju Jubilee and, um, um, Professor X coming out, and also Archangel. No, not Archangel, an just Angel. Because, of course, they've already made an Archangel. But, one sec, you can put him in some very cool-looking poses. Let me show you. This is my regular pose that I put him in with the um, my display. So, one sec. Let's put him into a cool-looking display pose. Let him stand. But, like, you can put him into pretty cool looking poses, especially with the um, ankle pivot and ankle rocker. Well, it, it's basically an ankle pivot, so one sec. Come on, stand. Alright, they. Oh my god. Yeah, but Marvel Universe has really stepped it up on the arti articulation. Um, I really want to get that new beast because they've got, like,. It's got, I don't know, I don't believe it's got ankle pivot, but I believe it, I know it's got toe articulation, which is pretty awesome. But, one sec, I'm trying to get him in the pose that I always pose him in, because he looks really cool when he does that. Oh my god, this is the problem with Marvel Universe figures sometimes. I lost his stand, he comes with a stand, I know that too. 
Wish he would have came with like a. One second, let's move in with this. You can see him better. But like, wish he came with like a cosmic beam that comes out of his glasses and like it would be yeah. removable because that would look awesome, I gotta say. And also, the thing is about Marvel Universe figures is that they used to have pretty crappy articulation and not many people used to get them because of that because of the articulation but they've stepped it up and done very well with the articulation they've got um especially with the super um super spider-man that i did a review of earlier this year and, and um if you haven't seen that review go check it out because it's a pretty cool looking figure but this is a they've stepped it up with articulation and they've and they're also paint detail but sadly with the paint detail is going to start a little fading away, especially with Dave Vonner being fired. Also, he's now officially part of Jazz, where I don't know what toy line is going to be up on yet. But, hey man, I'm getting off topic. I wish he had, like, the Cosmic Beam, the uh, min, um, STC exclusive, um, Mini Mate exclusive figure head. It's a separate helmet. I didn't pose him with this because they're all just standing up there doing, and it's not an epic battle. Eventually, I'll do an epic battle, and he'll be using this. But... I wish they would have done that. It would like it would have been. Re I wish it would, but the cool thing would be if it would be re removable. I'm gonna. Go, one sec, I want to compare the um, Mini Mate version to this figure because I just thought, why not? Um, this is the Mini Mate version. Um, you can take off the face and you can see the glasses. It doesn't come with the beam, sadly, but like you can put them in the same exact pose. It's pretty nice. So, um, yeah. But this is the Mini Mate version. I do not have the Marvel Legends version, sadly enough. But this is what the Mini Mate version looks. It's kind of looks the same. I believe it's using the same. No, this that's a little darker blue. This is a different dark blue. But that's that's the Mini Mate version. This is a very cool looking figure. Highly recommend it if you're an X Men fan, especially if you read the original 90s. I didn't read the original 90s, but I always loved the X Men. But of course, Avengers X Men, Avengers all the way, because I read a bunch of um, Avengers titles but very very cool looking figure highly recommend it if you're an X-Men fan and a Marvel Universe fan because this figure has a whole ton of articulation when I say a whole ton I mean a whole ton very cool cool figure when and I'm gonna really try getting the Jubilee um, F Professor X and Angel and and I need a Colossus and a K um, Kitty Pride. So, and then a Wolverine, but I can get a Wolverine pretty easily, so, but, so I have an entire X-Men display, so, very cool looking figure, highly re recommend it if you're an X-Men fan, Makes, um, so, thank you guys for watching, make sure you guys will go check out my latest comic book calls, um, tomorrow will be issue three, um, issue two, sorry, and, um, make sure you check that out, make sure you check out my Facebook page, I haven't really talked about this much, but my Facebook page, um, it's been in the description, but I haven't really talked about it, so, Make sure you check out that. Check out my Facebook page. I need more likes. Um, make sure you subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.